In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a worm bin. Um, and this bin is specifically built to fit inside a raised garden bed. Uh, a garden bed, just as a reminder what a garden bed is. Here it is. Um, this is our humongous garden bed. Um, I'll make a different video in one of these days just to take you guys through how we built it and what exactly is happening on it. But the idea is to build a, um, a worm farm um, or something to contain your worms. Um, something similar to this. We already have one that's currently sitting inside this where uh, inside this uh, ginormous garden bed. So the tools you need are pretty simple. Um, firstly, we need to have, of course, safety gloves, um, given that we'll be working with a power tool. And we got ourselves a bucket. I think this is, what, 20 liter bucket. Um, yeah, I would imagine that this is a 20 liter bucket. So this is going to be the bucket that we use um, to build our worm farm um, or container for all the scraps of food that we're going to be throwing in and of course the worms that we are going to get into it and also we have a drill um, this is you know just to help us drill holes that are required and I've got a simple bit here it's a 17 millimeter wide um, drill bit and that's what we're going to be using so we're going to be drilling two different categories of holes so the first category is going to be the big ones um, that are going to be on the side as well as the bottom and then the second category is going to be the smaller ones just around um, this area the lip of the of the of the bucket um, just to allow air oxygen to come through so let's get moving We have now drilled all the holes that we required in our bucket. Uh, so we've got about three holes um, on four in four sides. So this is what we wanted to do. So the reason we have these holes, we want to make sure one that the worms can leave this place if they are not happy and get into the the, the raised bed. And of course, I mean, the, the, the whole idea here is to make sure that we have a fertile raised bed. So we want to be able to allow the worms to go into the raised bed and wander. And as they move around, they are going to drop worm casting, um, which is what we are after to make sure that we grow happy vegetables. So now I'm going to be drilling a few holes at the bottom. All right, folks, here's our bucket. We have um, drilled our holes. So here is our worm tower, almost ready to go. But there is uh, one last thing that we need to do. Um, as you can see right there at the bottom, we've got uh, eight holes there. We've got three by four holes. Um, and what we want to do now, because this will go to the ground up until here um, so what we are planning to do now is to drill a few holes um, around this neck just to make sure that there is enough oxygen going in 
inside of this um, inside of this worm tower, worm bin, um, worm farm, whatever you call it. Um, there is enough space for gas exchange. All right. To do so, we're going to be using this drill bit. Um, this is a four mil drill bit that we are going to be using to drill all the holes that we think we need around um, here. All right, folks, there we go. Uh, we have drilled four millimeter holes around this, um, the neck of this worm tower. It's no longer a bucket now. It is officially a worm tower. Um, so this would allow air to go out to, to, you know, oxygen to come inside. But at the same time, we want to make sure that we don't allow big bugs to come through these. So anything bigger than four millimeters um, will struggle to come inside this. And we now declare our worm tower done and dusted. It's ready to be moved um, into the raised bed. Um, and for that, we're going to have a separate video. Um, you will find that video down below on the description.